Welcome Forex fans, it's Rob from Explominate here today with Star Drive 1. And it may look a little different to you. That's because I'm with the Black Box and Combined Arms mods. And they are the very first featured mods for our Modify Playlist feature that we're going to start having. Where we'd like to showcase, highlight some mods that we think do a fantastic job of improving Forex games. And Hot Damn is this a great example of it because as you can tell just based on this menu screen, there are some serious production values to this thing and some serious talent behind this mod. And I'm really excited to show it off to you. It's still in development. And that means basically that they're just continuing to work on it, continue to make it better, continue to flesh this game out. And by all, like for by every measure, this game is a better game as a result of these mods. And I can't wait to show it. So let's get started. All right, so what we can do is look through. There's also a, a new race here for those familiar with the, the regular star drive. But we're going to choose perhaps, uh, let's think. You know, I like the polyps. We're going we're gonna to be a friendly group. So we're going to go ahead and make this a small map to make things a bit tense. Maybe take the solar systems and make them abundant. We'll keep the five opponents and we'll leave everything else the same. All right, I like this flag, so we're going to leave the flag, and we can change the color, but I'm not going to change the color. We're just going to get started, because I really just want to show you how this game has been improved, and by every measure it has. All right, so what we do first is we're going to take a look, or it's going to pause, and we're going to just scope out here. And first of all, look at just, for those who are familiar with the original Star Drive, a lot of has, a lot of work has gone into making the game just look better in general. As you can see, the UI elements are much prettier, they're much more clear, crisp and clean. I'm at 1440p, and it still looks fantastic. And the the galaxy in general just looks amazing. You know, there's been some improvements, some anti-aliasing, and other things, other you know, just general model improvements. And you can just tell. I mean, I wouldn't even know that this game came out in 2013. It looks like a game that came out in 2019, and here we are in 2020. So, it just, it, it, it reeks of super high production. I'm very impressed by that. But there's so many things I want to talk about, so let's get started, alright? First of all, there's new automation that occurs in this as a result of Black Box, and I love it. We can set automation to take care of exp expiration, which we're going to do. We're going to, we can allow them to auto colonize, auto build projectors, and auto trade. We are going to set them to auto trade, which auto trading is going to allow the freighters that we can build to transport food and passengers wherever they're needed. We're going to let them auto pick the best freighter. We're going to take off, actually no, we're going to leave auto ground combat because <laughs> it's a little bit tedious for myself. I really just like games that like let me allow, allow me to, to you know, take control of things that I want to, much like Distant Worlds Universe. And it feels like by a lot of means, by a lot of standards, that Black Box is letting you do that. Like, it's kind of making its way towards, like, a Distant Worlds Universe-esque, you know, automation. And, and even in some of the, like, the galaxy map changes and stuff like that, it's just really becoming more grand. And I really like that. We can set it to auto research, which I'm actually going to do because it does a very good job of choosing research topics that I think are smart. And I'm going to let it do auto taxes because, again, it's really good at it. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. These are all things that I can manually change, but it's nice to have somebody kind of doing them for me in case I forget because there is a lot that goes on in this game, especially with this black box mod. So now we have that, right? And we have other things that we can do with this, uh, this one being my favorite in particular. So the polyps can see more of the call or the galaxy than the average race and I believe I can see three it looks like three of the five out there so what this this reconnaissance menu does is allow me to see everything out there and also allows me to sort by things that are you know particularly important to me so this one has an ancient pillar it also has fertility of 1.6 and richness of 1.1. I'm going to immediately make that my thing because I think this is a great place to colonize. I don't even know how far away from it is. Let's see, actually, what's it called again? It's called Itahawk 4. So let's see where Itahawk is. But yeah, it's 
Oh, here we go. It's down here. So we're going to be stretched a, little, stretched a little thin, which is fine. But, yeah, it's a great planet, so I definitely want to get there very quickly. What I can do now is go ahead and unpause things. You'll see that I've already chosen a research topic, and in this case, it's xenolinguistics. Xeno linguistics. But I, I, you know, I think that's a decent start, but I really like the idea of going with industrial foundations first. So we're going to go ahead and do industrial foundations. Xeno linguistics is good for the polyps because that's their focus, right? They're going to be friendly and all that stuff to people. But, you know, I want two things first. So we're going to go ahead and do aeroponics and industrial foundations first. And then we're going to scroll out. And as you can see, and as you can hear, my scouts are just flying out because they're an automated process. So they're going out to see and, and discover the things that haven't been discovered yet. So this one's probably headed towards this star system here. And my colony ship's already headed to the Itahawk system to, to take that. But it looks like there's remnants here, which I didn't see when I went to colonize here. So there are remnant forces here. So I may want to go ahead and just take a break here for a second. Pause things in case that's probably not our best bet. Because I don't want our... You know, it looks like Bright Moon's probably our best instead. So we're going to go ahead and cancel colonize and take Bright Moon instead. That's in our... exact. That's in our starting system so we'll take that but yeah let me continue to look at some of the stuff that really is improved here and I, there's so much that i'm afraid that i'm gonna miss some of it but every one of these menus have been improved in functionality and just looks and, and visual feel like right here we can look at ship array which is going to allow us to see all of our ships and then give them orders based on what type of ship they are so if they're scout of course i can do auto scout and then even if they're a fighter i can do auto scout you know, with the colonization ships, I can set them to colonize, stuff like that. It's a fantastic little menu. I love it very much. The fleet system doesn't change much. In fact, it's going to, it's about to get an overhaul or, uh, you know, like a revamp or, or maybe even improvement of sorts. I know that's in the process with the black box mod team. We can go back over to shipyard. That's where we can build our ships and it has pr improved here too. So we have this thing called symmetric design now which allows us as we're building stuff. So let's pull up the Vulcan cannon. We can just see as it's symmetric design here. And of course, if this is not exactly the best. We'll go over here, pull out a thorn and then pull up a Vulcan cannon. And you can see I can place it here and here and it'll go symmetrically. Or you can turn this off and do normal design as you would. I love that. When it comes to building very large ships, huge ships, it makes it incredibly easy to do without, you know, having to just click on everything. Super great. Of course, you get your range and your arc of fire, which I love. And a bunch of other things. Behavior presets, stuff like that, that just did not exist before. I love this. It's all fantastic. Furthermore, we have our empire screen, which we can do. Oh, right. I almost forgot. We have the ability to automate our governors now. So I'm going to go ahead and automate this governor to a core system. They're going to use the sliders as necessary and build stuff as necessary, right? So I can also come down to, to Sporal here and we will do that. And we can also tell it to build militia or not to scrap any buildings. So it won't scrap any buildings regardless of whether or not we're losing money. Right now I'm gonna let it do that, but it depends on how things go. I might come back and tell it not to. So yeah, here we have our ships and we can look to see like a, a basically a preview of them. Now it doesn't work terribly well at 1440p right now. I know that's something that they're looking at, but in a regular 1920, you know, 1080p, sorry, it doesn't work well at 1440, but at 1080p, you can see it just as it should. It, it previews the ship hull right to the left of it, but right as with the 1440p, it, it unfortunately kind of overlaps everything. But with that being said, it's cool to have like this cool little preview of the things that you have now. So there are a few extra buttons too. You can call troops, you can send troops. It's, it's very cool. There's just a lot going on here. I, I, you know, it's been a long time since I played the base game, but I know that a lot of this is, is an improvement. If some of these things were in the base game, man, I don't remember them. <laughs> I really don't. So there, there's just so much. And then here we've got two two toggles which I believe I hope to see one day given keyboard shortcuts but it's basically very similar to the Stellaris E shortcut where you can zoom in and out of a system of course it zooms in a little too close 
but you can also zoom out and that would be awesome if I could get a, sh a keyboard shortcut for that so I could you know come in through here and then immediately zoom in here and then zoom out with a nice little keyboard shortcut so hopefully that's in the process and the works again these are being worked on so especially black box it is absolutely 100% still very much in production and it is continuing to I mean I, I I'll tell you what I played this this mod about a year ago and I was like oh this is cool it's got some stuff going on that I like and a year later it has radically altered this game for the better and I'm super excited by it so the espionage hasn't changed at all nor has the diplomacy I imagine they may get to that I don't know if there's much you could do to make that much better maybe increase the size of it and maybe there could be some more information provided but other than that I think those menu systems are already pretty good so We'll go ahead and unpause because I'd like to see my spaceship, sorry, my colony ship, come back and take Bright Moon. And then we have another scout ship headed out. So, and then they're building Scroat Riders and some more scouts, which is fine. Those are good, good choices. I like scouting, and we're, in, you know, we have a, a positive income when it comes to our BCs. So, I don't see any reason not to send out more scouts. We might want to build some fighters just to have a base fleet right now of defense. Not that it should be an issue, but we definitely want to have something in case there's, you know, some some remnant forces that we can take out. I'd like to know how big the remnant forces are here at Itahawk. Yeah, see, I hate these. If I don't do it now, so this is the Corsairs that will come and destroy everything I have if I don't pay them. So... I wish there was some alternatives to this particular quest or event, but there aren't any just yet. It says you have to pay us 250 right now, but it ends up being a thousand. A little bit of a you know mismatch there, but again, if you don't pay them, you get crushed. So we're gonna pay them the thousand that I have to, even though it says 250. And let's come back to Bright Moon, and we'll set that to also be a core colony, because Bright Moon's actually a decent planet, so we're gonna want it to be. You know pretty balanced with its stuff what I'd really like to do is send the scout here to see how bad it hawk is I don't know where it's headed where is it oh hi humans how you doing I will say that the animations and stuff for Star Drive 1 are among the best you know it was always a game that I appreciated for how the the, the diplomacy felt alive right I'm glad to see that it's still there, and it's, you know, of course there's not much you would be able to change. Oh, shit. I m moved in right at that. Wow, they've got quite the force there. And that is the one that I want, too, this particular planet. So, yeah, let's get these, <laughs> let's get this guy out of here. Um, yeah, immediately call him up, and we'll just go right back to exploring the galaxy. Hopefully that means he'll FTL out of there. Yes, very good. Alright, so now I know what Itahawk 4 looks like. It is very well defended, so it'll be something that I need to bring quite a bit of forces with in order to do something to take that planet. That planet's great, but it is definitely well defended. <laughs> so, let's come look. Alright, so most of the, the, the great planets are well defended, except Flint 4. It's a swamp average. It has 0.5 fertility and 1.3 richness. I wonder if I can double click on it. I can. Wow, I love that. All right, so Flint 4 is where in relation to... Oh, it's not too far. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and and bring up Flint 4, and we're going to go ahead and colonize. And what that'll do is it will queue up a colony ship and send a colony ship that way, which is exactly what I'd want it to do. And we'll come down and see... So yeah, here you go. Spore ship is the very end now. We've got some more Thorn Scouts going and then the Vulcan Thorns going out. And yeah, so it's it's uh, it's a great... Like I said, look at this, man. Look at how good these things look. Everything just looks good. I and mean, it's certainly not like endless space too good. Well, I mean, hell, shit, it's not even that far off. It really just looks good. I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm having fun with this game in a way that I didn't think I could possibly have in 2020. So that says a lot about these mods. I wish there was a way I could just throw money at them and, and make them full-time people. But these are the kind of my mods that, like, you know, will 
will actually, you know, draw in true developers, true development studios and, and be like, yo, <laughs> come work for me. Cause these things, this one in particular is fantastic. It has taken a game that by, for all intents and purposes, was just completely dead and has made me, you know, excited about Star Drive again. So, yeah, I know. I'm not really particularly worn out or f fleeted out right now. So let's go ahead and build a fleet. We're going to go ahead and take the first fleet. We'll make fighters because that's all we really have. And we will build a bunch of them. I believe you can hold shift. Yeah, there we go. Hold shift and... Just make a nice little line of them. Take these two here and bring that and then kind of make it like a little V. And then maybe do we have no, we don't have anything to shore it up with. But you know what? We'll just take one more fighter in the back. Very good. And we'll go ahead and requisition this one. We can assign two of the ships that we have out there to do it, so we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll build the other 11. Very good. And then, you know, there's some menus that I can... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't mean to do that. Delete that one. Or we could just throw it over here where it's supposed to. I guess I must have accidentally dragged it. So, yeah, there's a few menus that I'm allowed to right-click out of, and then others that I can't. I, weren't, I want to see that be common I love the right click to close and menus so to see that across the board would be great but yeah now we need to build some ships in order to appease the humans to really kind of keep the humans off my butt I don't see the humans on the map which is wild where are you at humans I know here's the Cordrazine here because that's Cordra their home planet or home system but let's see if we can find the soul system and there's the Vader system, so that would be the uh, Volfar. And I don't see Soul. Maybe it's here? Maybe it's on my little rec plant reconnaissance? It is not. Alright, so I wonder how I met the humans. We must have seen each other out and about scouting. Ran into, bumped into each other. Let's take a look and see. Nope, there's nothing there actually. Wow, okay, so... And then over here, there's Argrim. Looks actually pretty good. 0.5. Let's zoom out one more time. I think it's Argrim 1, yeah. They're actually, both of them are bad planets. Argrim 1 is definitely the better of the two. And that might be where we go next after we take Flint up here. Oh, Flint is yet again another one that is... And it's weird because I don't remember seeing Flint as being... It is now... Strange. Okay, so we're going to cancel the colonization here. And we're going to find... Okay, well, we can't. So we're going to come down in Argrim 1. We'll hit colonize down here as well. And then I'll continue that one that's being queued up to head that way instead. But it's still a long way off, really. So we could expedite it. But we're not going to. Actually, ooh, yeah, let's cancel that one out because that one was going to be built for no reason at this point. So where are you heading? You're heading to, or you're just orbiting Sporal, but now you're going to Argrim. Okay, cool. So uh, let it do its thing. Oh, very good. The Raya. Yay. Tell me, Polyp, have you ever truly contemplated the hour of your own death when all becomes nothing? Do you fear to suffer? Do you... Sh you should, for we are Ralia, harbingers of death and servants of the Elder God. Yeah. Fuck you, lizard man. <laughs> I don't normally curse, but you know what? Screw you! Oh, crap! Seriously? Not good. Again, I didn't see anything that said that that was being defended. But now it very clearly is, so let's get him out before he destroys... Gets dest oh, too late. Damn. Alright, so s clearly some of our reconnaissance is not so great. What we can do... Oh, look. They're about to colonize that, aren't they? Bastards. Alright, so we've got industrial foundations, which is great. So we'll be able to increase our production capabilities. 
with see that's why I want that that button if I could just zoom out real quick that'd be great with a button and by that I mean a, a keyboard shortcut so this hasn't been done yet so we're just gonna go ahead and make it happen and starship construction mm. I don't believe that's really going to affect me so that's fine you can have starship construction because I don't think that that's something that most don't have, right? What's Starship Construction? Yeah, why wouldn't they already have that? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. But I will take in take on Corvette, Corvette Hall. Because it looks like we're going to have some fun with these, some of these guys quickly. And I honestly want to... I want to take this fleet and see what I can do to take out because we need to expand a bit and I don't know which one looked a little bit easier to take so maybe we take the fleet and we head over I don't believe this one looked terribly powerful but then again a lot of the remnant forces are difficult to take out at the beginning of the game so we're going to go ahead and, and send them over here just to see what they are. We'll come on the outskirts and see what they've got. All right. So we'll be FTLing in here soon. And then we will we'll make that determination. See what they have. All right, so we've brought them in. Let's move them in just a little bit closer. See, look at that. That just looks so good. All right, I don't see anybody. How weird. There we go. All right. So it doesn't look like there's that many. We might be able to take these guys out, actually. This is good. This is good for us. All right, so these Corvettes need to go out first, for sure. So we're gonna focus fire on the Corvettes. Oh, or maybe we should focus on them since they're coming at us right now. All right, taking out two of those, that's good. Oh man. All right, so that didn't really go so well <laughs> that's all right so what we can do is go ahead and reacquisition those fleets or those yeah we're gonna go ahead and build all 11 of them again looks like i think we could take them out but we'd have to be kind of hit and run with it so we could take out a corvette or i'm sorry some of the fighters quickly and then where are you going why are you going anywhere no 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 that's right come back we need to cancel that. Delay that. Belay that order. So let's go ahead and cancel that order. You can go back and stay in relative safety of our Palmar system for the time being. And all right, looks like the Quadrazine are moving on to. They're also. Oh, they've got three planets now. It'd be nice to take on a second or third planet. Reels? Where's Reels? All right, where's Reels in comparison to me? Ooh, it's way up there. Closer to Quadron, so I'm not gonna put myself, I'm not gonna put a planet between me, or I'm sorry, put, yeah, the Quadron between me and another one of my colonies. So we're just gonna hold on to the pattern right this very moment. And we'll make sure to destroy, ooh, the first fleet's headed back. Why are you doing that? Did I tell you to do that? I don't think I did. Come back. Come back here, please. Go ahead and you'll resupply and repair. Looks like we're... Ooh, cool. Scans of Kalthar 4... Sorry, Kalthar 7 revealed an anomaly. So we have an anomaly here. Looks like the Raya are here. A couple times over. 
but they don't appear to be taking on their... Because that's something they could explore. Is there anywhere else I could explore? Not here, because I don't want to get destroyed. Oh, hi, Volfar. Super good to see you, space Nazi dogs. And you know what we'll do? We're going to send a troop there before they do. Let's just have it. So we'll launch a single troop, take that troop, and head them over that way. I believe it's down here. Yep. All right. Come on down there and see what they've got there. Aeroponics unlocked. All right. So let's go ahead and see what's next. It looks like Xenolinguistics is next, which is fine. I want to make I want to make friends with these people before they start killing me. And light lightning system explored. The star emits radiation. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we don't want to go there. Let's combat in that system, the Kothlar system. And we're going to head towards Kothlar 7 to gain that anomaly. Oh, did they take... No, okay, Vader's there. So, yeah, I really want that. I really want it. So let's see what we can do. Come on, let's bring... Let's bring my fleet back over this way. We'll see what we can do to flesh out some of these guys. Alright, so we'll exit FTL and then we'll see about drawing that fighter out, those two fighters out. We'll maybe just focus firing on them. I love the different sounds of FTL, like each race has a different sound for their FTL. Alright, so... That's where we've got it. Okay, so... We are going to focus fire on the two fighters. Don't do that yet. Lordy. Come back here. <laughs> Get your ass back here. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. They just jumped in, so that might give me an opportunity to fire at them before the others do. Oh, very good. Destroy them, please. Okay, you try to distract this thing. Very good. Awesome. Take this one out. Get back. Let's go ahead and resupply. Oh, nope. Didn't happen. Alright. I wonder if we shouldn't do, like, the whole switcheroo and try to get tr these guys drawn out this way and then bring the colony ship to Argrim. <laughs> Something that you can work on, do. Um, the only problem is that we won't be able to send any freighters there. So, let's go ahead and resupply this. You know what? We're going to build more. I think we're going to need more. So let's go ahead and also let's consider this. Let's do a shipyard. Let's go ahead and build a freighter that's got some some... Oh wait, no. Freighters are small here. Why are you so small? And they don't have any capabilities of weapons. That sucks. Alright. Screw that then. So we'll come back up and we'll take the first fleet and we'll re requisition the remaining fleet ships that we need. So, all right, we killed one, which is <laughs> better than nothing, but not as good as it could have been. So, all right, then let's consider other planets for us to expand for. So we've got, man, I wish I could also sort by remnant forces. And again, it says Flint's not... Flint doesn't have anything. Why do you keep doing that to me, man? And Reels, we're not going to, for sure. So let's also look to see... You know what we could do? We'll look around us to see if there's anything worth a damn. Nope, nothing here. Not going to go there. Flint's too far up, and we also know that it's also... 
defended. And nothing here. Although Tantorum is good, it's defended here too. There's a lot of defended systems in this area. So, yeah. wonder what happened here. Did my guy never make it? Huh. Maybe he got shot down. Poor feller. He got shot down. Alright, so Flint's still saying there's maybe there isn't anything there now. Alright, we're gonna send Fleet 1 to Flint now. Alright, we're gonna have to wait. Looks like we only have one ship. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use a, a ship to scout. We use this one to scout. The Vulcan Thorn here. To scout out Flint because it's possible maybe that someone's destroyed what's there. So we'll send that one up there and then we'll definitely check in on the requisitioning of our fleet here. Alright, looks like it's well underway, which is good. And we'll come back up here to Flint and see what we can draw out here. Alright, well, there's nothing here. Nothing there. Ooh, let's just pray there's nothing. Oh, hi, Cordrazine. I figured you would say hi eventually. And... Alright, so which one's the good one? Is it Flint 4? This one's definitely it, so let's go ahead and get over there. We'll go ahead and, and hang tight over here. We might even send the rest of Fleet 1 there. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go ahead and send Fleet 1 to orbit Flint 4. And hopefully our colony ship's underway. There it is. We're going to go ahead and get that one colonized so we can expand a bit. We also need to start building some subspace projectors, which I'm not sure if we can do just yet. Like this, oh, another thing I forgot to mention, which is huge. Like clearly this research tree has become much larger, right? There's an absolute shit ton of stuff to, to look at, to build. And I think, no, I'm trying to see it's, I haven't fully explored this thing yet. And it doesn't appear, there's shipyards. Uh, but I don't know where the subspace projectors are. Maybe I can build them already? That would be great. I think that's probably not where they would be. Maybe there's like a... Uh, I don't think they'd be here. Defense, maybe? No, look at all these shields, though. Like, there's just so many different shields and armor types now. Guided weapons? Yeah. They're awesome, but they're not what I'm looking for. We'll go ahead and pick up Missile Theory, though, while we're here. Advanced colonization, maybe. Zero gravity production plant, plant. Yeah, I don't believe that. So look at all these things though. There's got like f many more different types of industrial things. It's just a lot more building types, armor types, weapon types as a result of the combined arms mod. So that's what I really like. It's something pretty, pretty damn awesome. Gives you a lot of different ways you can go. A lot of different ways you can counteract what the AI is doing as well. And I don't see anything. So I'm going to go ahead and also do subspace theory so we can actually increase our star drive speeds. So, but then that means I should be able to, unless subspace, okay, there we go. Subspace sensors, nope. Yeah, I think we can do like a, at least for here I think it'd be a good idea to have some projectors going on here I just have to remember how to build them <laughs> it's been a long time I have definitely not played this game in a long time so oh, how, why are all these damn what are these oh it's another home defense gotcha all right I don't remember home defense I think that's a new little feature as well which is pretty cool all right, so I don't think we could use these guys. They'd have to be some sort of constructor ship. 
I just don't remember how to do that. It'll have to be something I, I look up while I uh, am in between episodes. But yeah, so what I wanted to do is to give a brief, quick look at this game. This is with the black box and combined arms mod, which I will link in the the description below. Uh, yeah, we'll give you that. That's cool. Maybe we can both be happy and friendly towards each other. But yeah, so all this is going to be there. I'm going to continue to do this, and I want you to ask any questions that you have. And certainly, if there's something that I'm not looking at, like, I mean... There's a lot of other stuff that's been looked at, a lot of other stuff that's been adjusted and made to just be better in general, and I'm sure I've missed some of it. So if there's something that I haven't shown that you want to see, please let me know, and I'll just continue playing this because I'm enjoying it. I've really, really just been blown away by this black box mod. I'm incredibly impressed by the, the I mean, they're, they're not professional developers. They might be, but they're not professional game developers, and they've used their skills to, like, to make this game something that it was supposed to be. And I I really envy that, I, I admire that. And um, a little something about me too is that I, I started off my whole YouTube career by doing YouTube videos of StarDrive because no one else was able to get into the beta and very few people that were in the beta had the ability to do YouTube. So I was like, eh, I'll do it. And I tried it and I ended up liking it. And so here I am five years later, six years later, still doing them occasionally. So, you know, there's a soft spot I have for a star drive though. It was awful to see it abandoned as it was. These guys have come up, taken the mantle up and are making this game just a fantastic game. So please let me know in the description or in the comments below what you want to see. If there's anything about this mod that you're just like, wow, or, want to know more about and i'm happy to show you and in the meantime i'll continue playing this and continue uploading episodes because i'm enjoying it and if you haven't already checked out the modified playlist article where we did a quick q a with the developers and we outlined some of the changes some of the big changes that occurred with the black box mod and combined arms mod as well so thanks for watching guys until next time this was rob from exploding keep exploring